Hello everybody, welcome to the next video um, and um, in this video I want to continue the topic that I have been talking about in the previous video. In the previous video I mentioned that one th the most important key uh, for your work, for your workout um, to, to be efficient is the progressive, the pr progressive overload and um, the question that now has to be answered is how should I make progressive overload happen so um, this is what I want to talk about in this video the, pro the workout progression when how uh, do I have to progress at weight training when and how to progress so um, I have explained number one key to getting positive results from your workout is progressive overload you must strive to increase the demands being placed on your body in some way over time. And when you fully understand how big of a requirement this is, the next logical questi question is pretty obvious. How and when should this progression take place? Well, in the specific context of weight training, there's a bunch of ways it can be done. And some are more ideal for the certain goals and experience levels than others. The most common methods of weight training progression that comes to mind are first you can increase the weight being lifted for example if you are currently lifting a hundred pounds on some exercise you can lift a hundred and five pounds the next time you perform that exercise second you can increase the number of reps a weight is being lifted for for example if you are lifting 100 pounds on some exercises for three sets of eight reps, you can do three sets of nine reps with that same weight the next time you perform that exercise. The third way is you can increase the number of sets that you are lifting a weight for. For example, if you are lifting 100 pounds on some exercise for three sets of eight reps, you can do four sets of eight reps with that same weight the next time you perform that exercise. Fourth way is you can increase the amount of work being done in a given time period. Yeah, for example, if you currently rest three minutes between sets of an exercise, you can try lifting the same weight for the same amount of sets and reps but with only two minutes and 30 seconds of rest between sets. And then fifth, five, fifth way is you can increase the difficulty of the exercise being performed. For example, if you are currently doing split squats or static lunges, you can move up to a similar but more challenging version of the same exercise such as uh, walking lunges or Bulgarian split squats. Once again, depending on your exact goal and experience level, some of these methods are more or less ideal for you than others. However, the most of the people, most of the time, here's the method of weight training progress that I and many others most often use and recommend. So what are the typical weight training progression protocol? In any intelligently designed weight training routine, you will have specific exercises that you are supposed to perform during each workout. For each exercise, you will have a certain number of sets that you are supposed to do. And for each set, you will have a certain number of reps that you are supposed to do. And obviously, you will also have a certain amount of weight that you will be lifting during each exercise. Now, the most basic, generic, and common form of weight training progression works like this. First, meet the prescribed sets and rep goal for the exercise. Second, increase the weight being lifted for that exercise by the smallest increment possible. Third, meet the set rep goal again with this new slightly heavier weight. Fourth, increase the weight being lifted again by the smallest increment possible and fifth repeat this process the uh, process over and over again as often as you are capable of making it happen confused well here's an example 
let's say um, that for one of the exercises in your workout routine let's call it exercise X you are currently lifting 50 pounds let's also say that your program calls for you to do three sets of eight reps for exercise for that exercise now let's say today you did exercise X and it went like this set one 50 pound eight reps set two 50 pounds eight reps and set three 50 pound at eight reps as you can see you lifted 30 pounds for three sets of eight reps in this example and since your program calls for you to do three sets of eight reps this workout was a success since you have reached the prescribed set rep goal for this exercise it's now time to increase the weight by the smallest increment possible so the next time you perform exercise X uh, you should do something like this set 1 55 pounds 8 reps set 2 50 55 pounds 8 reps and set 3 55 pounds 8 reps see what happened progressive overload took place you increase the weight you were lifting by 5 pounds which is usually the smallest possible increment and perform that same prescribed 3 sets of 8 reps with this new slightly heavier weight that means this workout was once again a complete success so the next time you perform this exercise you would go up to 60 pounds and again attempt 3 sets of 8 reps you would then continue increasing like this as often as possible over and over again the only thing is most people will not be able to increase this much and or this consistently from workout to workout beginners might but a uh, few others will in fact instead of that second successful workout shown above the 55 uh, the 55 pounds for three sets and it reps many people would have ended up only able to do something like 55 pounds for eight reps in the first set the second set 55 pounds seven reps and the third set 55 pounds six reps now this is completely normal and should still be considered a successful workout it is, is still definitely progressive overload now in this case your goal the next time you perform the exercise is something like this set one 55 pounds eight reps set two 55 pounds again eight reps and this the third set 55 pounds seven reps and then the time after that um, you would do eight reps 55 pounds on all three sets and, and the time after that you would increase the weight to 60 pounds and the first set eight reps the second set seven reps and the third set six reps and you would repeat the similar pattern of increasing reps and weight over and over again so that your body continues having a reason to adapt and improve and improve over and over again and in case it is not obvious enough if your weight training routine called for three sets of 10 four sets of six five sets of five two sets of 12 or any other combination of sets and reps you would still progress virtually the same way as shown uh, as, as, as mentioned in the uh, example so will progression always be this consistent of course not not always there will definitely be times when you end up repeating the same exact number of sets and reps and weights uh, that you did the previous workout sometimes that this might even continue for quite a while uh, with certain exercises this is uh, especially true for more advanced trainees uh. so there will uh, also be times when in the above example for instance you might only get reps uh, of seven or six uh, in all of three sets so don't worry that's normal uh, just work your ass off to progress in some way as often as you can and beat what you were able to do the previous time uh, add one rep to every set add one rep to just one set and so on uh, just work hard to gradually reach your workout routines prescribed set rep goal for each exercise and then once you have reached it increase the weight you are lifting for that exercise by the smallest possible increment and repeat this protocol all over again this is all part of the process of progressive overload and it's the only true requirement for getting positive results from your workout routine so what is next 
Well, at this point, we have covered every major aspect of creating and implementing an effective workout routine in the last, uh, I don't know how much, is it, 20 videos or so. So the funny thing is, your workout routine is only half of what's needed to reach a goal. The other half is your diet. And, um, and we will talk about the diet, which is very, very important, in the next video. So stay tuned, I hope you like the videos and of course as always if you want to know more about um, uh, mass training advice for natural bodybuilders um, then you might be interested in the ebook, you find the link below the video. Have a nice day.